to just run underneath it and get your damage. It's so hard for ZSS to deal with that. But the, the trade-off there is that Squirtle can keep up, but really struggles getting off of the ledge. PT yeah. just really sucks at getting off of the ledge. So if Comet has his ledge traps on on point, then it could also be a problem. Definitely. And um, <clears throat> speaking of Comet playing fast, his set with Anthony, he was cooking. Like I was, I know the crowd is small. It's it's very late at night. You, you know, it's it's almost what is it, 10:37 on a Sunday. Most people have left the venue. Of course, it's just you know a, a, a kind of a long day. But Comet was playing amazing earlier. I was seeing some really cool combos I hadn't seen before. The speed was definitely there. So let's see if he can keep that momentum going against Doorstop. But Squirtle is an absolute menace when it comes to dealing with the spaces. Yeah, definitely going to be looking for a combo starter here. Any of the aerials are going to be great. Grab is also going to be a really good tool for Doorstop, as we're seeing here. Big damage already, only 15 seconds into the game. Yeah, so you have to be super patient when playing against Squirtle. A lot of the time, he's just waiting for you to press a button first. So he's going to get within his burst range mm -hmm. and just wait for you to press a button and then punish accordingly. Yeah, his dash dance is so freaking good. Like, not only is it fast and it'll, like, burst through a lot of space really quickly, even just leaving a little bit of water behind can just make it tricky on trying to figure out where he's at because he's just so small. You also have to be super careful with the, uh, the edge bars as well. Um, especially when he's on Ivysaur, it's not going to be as big of a problem when he's on Squirtle. He can use the up B to two frame, and it's pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. But um, if he's on Ivysaur, just that down air is so brutal. But huh? dying to the... Uh, is that up air? Yeah, up air. I, did he do up tilt up air? Yeah. Yeah, so that's a, a confirm around, I want to say 110. I'm not super sure about that. But Doorstop does go for that. Um, and that's something that you also think about. Like, you think of Charizard and you think of Ivy for getting the kills. But Squirtle is pretty consistent with it as well. And definitely Doorstop's most polished character yeah. of the three. And he finds it in really sneaky ways, too. He forces a lot of, like, uh, forced uh, tech or jab lock scenarios, kind of in the same way that Inkling does. And it's really hard to react to. Uh, all that aside, Comet still keeping up neck and neck with the damage here. Might not be too hard to uh, take this stock if you can find a confirm, but missing the up smash, Dorsop gonna live for another day here. And Ivysaur is a really good character for racking up damage and taking stocks around these mid percents if you're at the ledge. Ooh, okay. Comet able to make it back to the ledge there, but that was a very scary situation. You do have to watch out for that bite whip. Also have to watch out for that F smash. Able to catch Comet trying to land and uh, Dorsop with a pretty big lead here. Yeah. Also, even opting to stay on the Ivysaur too makes a lot of sense. It means if Ivysaur dies, he can just instant switch from Charizard and go back to Squirtle. So definitely doesn't want to take the risk. But uh, Comet finds that back air. Not the best DI angle from Doorstop. Not that I think it would have mattered much, but here we are, two stocks to one. And again, uh, Fox kind of fighting like a little bit of a nightmare character. He's gonna have to be really, really cautious when he picks his shots. All right. Yeah, that down tilt's gonna be a great option. And F tilt as well, um, just great options for putting in these tech chase situations when you're at 74, you definitely have to watch out for that. Not able to get there in time, but gonna see this back throw off stage. High recovery there from Comet, really good stuff. Able to make it to the other side of the stage. Lots of damage on that multi-jab as well. Yeah, Comet really just fighting, just kind of scrapping and trying to find some semblance of something. Okay, great way teching away, making sure the doorstop was not able to catch him, but these ledge traps have just been really scary. You've seen some attempts with uh, two framing with a down tilt. Oh, and Comet narrowly avoiding that, but still getting frame trapped, and like you said, up tilt to up air once again. It's almost like a hoo-ha, booyah situation, yeah. but I'm gonna be real with you. For the past two minutes, I was trying to think of like a good hoo-ha name for Pokemon Trainer, and I just can't find one. No, I'm sure somebody that plays competitive Pokemon can think of something, but yeah, that's I not me. <laughs> I really, I was like, I'm going to cook on this joke. I was like, damn, I got nothing. But <laughs> anyway, uh, up tilt to up air looking like a really consistent thing. And that's rough because not only is Fox like, you know, a fast faller, but he's also light. So I imagine any kind of confirm like that probably has like a pretty generous window. Yeah. So good stuff to doorstop in like game one. It is also very important to consider when doorstop is switching. A lot of the time you think like, oh, my opponent's at kill percent, so then they're going to switch to Ivy or Charizard. But instead, Doorstop is very confident in his ability to kill with Squirtle, so he's mostly going to switch to Ivy when he gets around the 100% range, just because Up Smash will kill Squirtle so early. Hello? Oh, no. Okay. Okay, okay. Don't okay. know how that happened, because I think they're both using GameCube controllers. They are. Concerning. Okay. All right. Well, anyway. I love that there was no need to take the stock. It's just like, it said go. Like, you yeah. can't be like, oh, you made me drop my combo. Like, did I? <laughs> <laughs> really, bestie? You were on the angel flag. 
all right. Life lap back air, but that can be problematic if doorstop's ready with like a, an F smash or a down smash. You do have to be mm. careful trying to swing back there in that disadvantage state. Getting off the ledge again, big problem for Squirtle here. Going to see a down throw to send back off stage. Just playing super patient. Ooh. It's very important that he doesn't swing too much trying to get off of the ledge here. Ooh. That, ooh, just barely missing the up smash he needed. Comet played so fantastic that last 30 seconds. I loved his advantage state, even knowing when the combo was over and finding a couple extra lasers just to completely optimize what he's going for. But now he's forced off stage. And of course, Ivysaur with that big down air is just so hard for most people to get around, but especially someone with as linear of recovery as a, as a fox. Yeah, Ivy's going to be really good for these long-lasting aerials, especially in Nair. At the ledge, it's going to be really hard for Fox to contest against that, but Fox is going to outspeed Ivy opposed to Squirtle. So, do have to be careful trying to land on top of Comet here. Able to find that up smash to take the stock and immediately going to switch to Squirtle, not going to stay on Charizard. Makes sense. Charizard's just going to be combo food for Fox, and we've seen that Comet is very consistent with getting a lot of damage. Yeah, I like that Comet is just like, all right, I... You mentioned earlier that like typically he tries to like run you down and that last stock on game one just went kind of like far out of his favor So he wants to slow it down a little bit until he's like really confident he can get a combo starter So he's kind of just like fading back going for lasers and just taking his shots, but doorstop is finding some small openings Oof. All right F tilt up tilt into Grab grab gonna again just be a great opening for Squirtle But Dang. speaking of great openings able to get the double up air lots of damage there not able to find the stock off of it but gets that Nair. Do you have to be careful in that situation because he is looking for an up smash. He definitely is. Um, also, Ivysaur is very scary around the platforms because falling up air or dare can lead to a lot. So Kama's going to have to be careful. But he's so good at finding damage. But as I say that, Doorstop getting a jump read is able to take that stock. Comet going to have to commit to some kind of way to find like a falling neutral air, maybe some kind of like up smash. But in the meantime, Ivysaur really kind of wrecks faces too. Comet fighting back though with that air to up smash. Yeah, just barely hitting with that. It seemed like it was at the tip of his shoe, but able to tie up stocks here. Trying to find an opening. Using that fair is going to be a great, great tool for that. And again, just disengaging and using a lot of the, the laser just for that extra splash damage. And mm -hmm. it, it seems to be working. Ooh, speaking of splash damage, just barely yeah. avoiding that squirrel edge guard. That could have been disastrous. Uh, doorstop once again really finding the lead going for a big call out with that up smash comet getting a little bit of a punish nothing super crazy but he is at 104 percent and because of up to up air he has to be extremely careful right now yeah and even only sitting at 50 percent this is still pretty even mm -hmm. squirtle is so light and so small that he can die pretty early if we see a uh, an f smash at the ledge here or something along those lines so do have to be very careful trying to put comet in a tech tree situation but D's, uh, di's up and not uh, uh, like avoiding that situation Ooh. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Oh my god, this is starting to get to a nail biter. This is definitely gonna be a juicer. Back throw not gonna Hello? Oh. <laughs> listen. Anyway. Listen. In that moment, Comet looked down at his controller and I looked at Comet's face. That was not the angle he wanted. Okay. Cause like that back throw's solid. Yeah. And like light's not that uh, not light. Fox is, you know, not that heavy, but to be I, fair, I think he was on the left side of the stage, so it makes sense to F throw and go for the ledge guard or the ledge trap or edge right. guard there. So I probably would have DI'd the other way too. I can't judge, but yeah, don't don't think that he was that's what he was going for. Yeah, that's probably yeah, it was a DI mix up for sure. Yeah. Cause I said, huh? There's I no don't know what bros in the audience are doing, but they are they're doing like we fit exercises. <laughs> Hit him with a sun salutation just because. <laughs> All right, game three. So Doorstop is up 2-0, but both these rounds have been really, really close. Comet just ha struggling a little bit to find that momentum on the last stop. Like, they'll get to, like, last stock 0%, and then Doorstop just runs away with it with, like, huge combos. Yeah, landing's going to be really hard with Fox in these situations. It seems like Squirtle's so fast that he's just able to catch him every single time. So I think trying to play this, like, long horizontal game is going to be beneficial for Fox. Trying to find, like, a dash attack to get an opening or a falling nair. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right, up tilt to neutral air. I like that. Forcing him off stage and also not uh, staling the F smash, but finding a really, really powerful edge guard right there. Only at 53%. Uh, doorstop, once again, off to a hot start. I think that Doorstop is swinging from ledge a lot, and that could be problematic if Comet catches on to that. Every single time Doorstop's like jumping off. Oh. Uh, Hello? Uh, Okay. okay, all right. Finds, finds a way to get there. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, but he's swinging <laughs> off of the ledge a lot, so I think if Comet, like, 
dashes back a little bit or jumps back and then punishes that. Doorstop's coming off of the, the mm. ledge without a jump, but good stuff there finding that up smash. 46% here. Oh, and Ooh. that was uh, that was a good position for the Pokemon to be in, too, because he had to start off his Charizard for a quick second there. So mm -hmm. there was an opportunity, but Comet didn't want to overextend. And honestly, even if you do have a character like Fox, like, okay, cool, you can beat up on Charizard, but that back air is killing you like 20, so you definitely want to be careful. Missing the down tilt there, letting Comet get back on stage, and actually a reversal here. Jab at the ledge going to send Doorstop off stage. This could be scary for him. Okay, but just able to roll back on. Oh man, just they rinse just and repeat over and over and again. Oh no! no! Doorstop literally putting out the flames on Comet's momentum <laughs> and his Firefox recovery. That was such a rough spot to be in. And great conditioning from Doorstop too. He kept sending him out horizontal, not like super far, but enough to just like discourage him from using Illusion. And I think he just might have misstepped and forgot that uh, Water Gun is a huge problem. Jesus Christ, okay. <gasps> Doorstop trying to sauce a little bit there. Using that extra jump from Charizard to make it back to the stage, though. A lot of momentum on his side. Comet really got to dig deep to find a way to come back to this. Yeah, big body here on Charizard, so this is going to be a pretty tough matchup. But if we're able to see just, like, one read with a back air, it could be the end of it. Charizard's also really good out of shield, but that's not going to come into play if we're not able to get back onto stage. Comet just playing super aggressive here at the ledge. Mm -hmm. Not letting Doorstop breathe. Able to get that back air. Terrible angle on that, but luckily we have the Flare Blitz to make it back. Yeah, incredible ledge play from Comet. Oh, just misread the roll, but finds the up smash anyway. So here we are yet again, both players on last stock. Comet down by starting to get a considerable amount here. He's got to open up doorstop and get some kind of huge combo, but Squirtle's so hard to start that on. He's so small, he can fight you back with those jabs and even neutral air. So it's just kind of tough for Comet in this position. All right, using the platform to our advantage, just avoiding the floor is lava. Mm -hmm. Squirtle just running back and forth, a lot of landing there. It's working out. Okay. All right, fighting back with that neutral air. Comet literally just a single mistake away. Can he find something? Can he get like a falling Nair? I love that even still disengaging, sneaking those lasers in, trying to get whatever chip damage he can without committing. Ooh, and a clutch air dodge avoiding that up tilt. Great grab there from Doorstop as well, recognizing <gasps> the situation. Oh! Oh, great okay. DI from Comet. This could Ooh. still be his game. He's got a lot of rage. Gotta watch out nice. for that back air. Good stuff to Comet, holy crap. Yeah, you hear the crowd of five really coming alive here. <laughs> you're hearing a lot. Of, you're hearing a chant even. Comet fighting back from the depths of hell on that last game. I love that um, Doorstop almost won by like forcing Comet to air dodge by jumping and baiting it out. And then when Comet survived, he literally came back and did the exact same thing to him and took the stock with a maximum rage back here. Yeah, Comet did a great job of just staying composed in that situation, um, especially after getting red like that with that air dodge. Um, so really good stuff going on this game four. I think the biggest thing there was Doorstop was on Charizard for just way too long. Comet just did not let him breathe or get off of the ledge, and it's going to be a lot easier to, uh, to ledge trap him when you are such a big character. For sure. Okay, Nair out of shield. Going to be a good get off me option here for Squirtle. Ooh, but I like that fair off of the ledge. Um, not letting Doorstop go for that that down tilt that we've been seeing pretty consistently. Ooh. Comet literally reflecting his momentum, saying, <laughs> you gonna get off me. No, you. <laughs> no, you. Uno reverse. Stop <laughs> approaching me. Uh-oh, here we go. This isn't good. That's the second time Doorstop's gone for that, like, aggressive uh, off-stage neutral B, and I understand that it's kind of a flashier-looking edge trap, but he's he's been able to get so much mileage out of just waiting for the two-frame with down tilt or just, you know, even running off the ledge for neutral air, might have to commit to some safer options because he's 0 for 2 on that. You could also just switch to Ivy and go for the down air, and then you would have enough time off the respawn platform to switch back to Squirtle before Comet back, got back on stage. So mm -hmm. I think there are a lot safer options to go for, and we've seen that it hasn't worked out for him either time, so. Yeah, not just yet. Okay, Doorstop trying to get him off of him with that back, uh, with that forward <laughs> Oh my God, nobody clipped that. <laughs> we got to put this next to your other clip with doorstop. Yeah. Wow, uh, let's let's reset. So going for the waterfall high past the ledge, great way to just anti-air comment for sure. Still way down a percent here. And the uh, edge guarding has not been as favorable like the end of last game in this game. Jesus, I oh, guess that wow. kills. Okay. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen that. 
Ooh, okay, love that DI off stage, just going to the, the ledge instead, not trying to land on top of Fox. We've seen that Comet is so consistent with hitting those um, up smashes out of shield. Okay, but again, looking for that Nair, and we know what he's looking for. We sure do. Ooh, even the falling forward air, nearly setting up to a route for up smash. And Comet is very good about doing that late dash attack at the ledge and setting up for bear. Doorstop held really far out, but I saw him get a lot of mileage out of that earlier tonight when he was fighting Wolfie. Right, using that Nair out of shield is going to be a great combo starter for Ivysaur. Do you have to be careful here, though? At 118, we see that Comet can use uh, an up smash out of shield. He can use Nair into up smash. He mm -hmm. can use down Nair into up smash, too. So do have to be careful with how we're landing on Comet. Yeah, especially even just from that up throw, just like waiting to see if Ivysaur presses like a big option. Like he can cover with up smash or up air so quickly. Okay, not able to get the Vine Whip off of that, just choosing to go back to stage and look for the punish instead. But keeping Fox at the ledge, this is where he does not want to be against mm. Ivy, but able to reversal there and find that back air instead. I, I love that. He was like, let me try these two back airs. They don't hit. I'm going to Squirtle. Yep. I'm invincible. Here's the, the biggest hitbox I have. If it doesn't work, it's fine. Ooh, oh. love that drop zone Nair there. This I is think a scary he might situation. be dead. Okay, he finally gets it. Uh, and it is it is a great edge guard. I'm glad he's able to hit it, but uh, really needed it too because he is on his last stock here. So once again, last stock scenario, can Comet kind of switch the tides a little bit and be the first one to get momentum from here? Okay, just staying on the platforms, avoiding the Squirtle, avoiding that F tilt that's going to put him in those tech chase situations or in the situations where he can get grabbed. Able to get these up airs, lots of damage there. How's Doorstop going to land? Chooses to go back to the platform. Okay, narrow to shield. Not going to get a, a big follow-up off of it, though. Just getting a lot of stray hits here from doorstop. Oh, Ooh, and yeah. the multi-jabs coming in, keeping them extra safe. Comet finally did it. Really needed to take control of just the final stock here. Now doorstop, got to avoid these back airs, these nares. Got to help you in up smash at all costs. And uh, Ivysaur, Ooh. really solid character, but not necessarily the most clutch for making a comeback. Okay, lands uh -oh. here with back air. Have to be. Ooh, the, that is the only uh, angle that he did not die from that. <laughs> yeah, that was incredible. The Lord went ahead and just blessed Ivy's <laughs> for a second there. Easily would have been Comet's game otherwise. Ooh. Ooh, the reflect was so sick from Comet. Make sure he can't get anything going. I like that he tried to get the Vine Whip, especially with all that rage. But Comet using the shine to stall and delay his landing by just a couple of frames, throwing Doorstop off and sending us into this game five. And we're back to our stretches. <laughs> yes. And up and breathe. One, two, three. <laughs> I love that. Jazzercise for Comet. That's what they're doing right now. I love that they're moving to where the camera switches. That's yeah. so funny. I just realized. They had to pretend they're a full crowd. And that's just <laughs> the enthusiasm I love to see. The door stop shaking it off a little bit going into this game five. I think those ledge trap situations where he or the edge guards rather where he's going off stage and trying to use that waterfall have just really been biting him in the ass. So I think trying to stay on stage is going to be a lot better, more uh -oh. beneficial. But it seems like comments just really warming up here. Yeah, he is really coming alive now that we're all the way here in game five. Looking down the barrel of reverse 3 0 if Doorstop is not extra careful. Fighting back and getting some good damage, though, with those back airs. Oh, Ooh. just kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't, right there. Doesn't have a jump, but Vine Whip more than enough to get him back to the stage. Still Again, in a pretty tough spot for Doorstop, though. Just jumping and throwing out these attacks off of ledge, and a lot of the time it lets Doorstop get those reversals, but it seems like Common is just very consistent with hitting it in these last few games, and Doorstop just cannot get off of the ledge. Oh, that was like the first frame of up air. I'm pretty sure I heard the noise there. Trying to find something to uh, cover his landing with. And up air, rarely do you see this, but doesn't cover the whole platform. Comet hanging out to the right and still being able to live here. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to kill. <laughs> he said, you know what? Why don't we go to WWE real quick? <laughs> A little crazy first option there, but hey, it caught Comet off guard. You have to be careful out of shield here. Door stops, up smash, and up B are going to be great options for Charizard. Sitting at 166, Woo! has a ton of rage. Fly? Ooh, and this is it. F tilt? Fly? Yep. Dump downtown! <laughs> to the smackdown! Door stop taking that stop. But he is at 166. Can't really afford to switch off Charizard, so in a crazy position, he's going to definitely need to find a grab or something to maybe get a crazy Charizard back here, and Ooh. this could be the position. Illusion getting stuffed out by the fire. The dare, not all the timing, but still gets great damage considering where what? he's at. 
Wow. That was the craziest hitbox of back air I've ever seen, but Charizard's big, so I guess it works out for him. That's a big boy. <laughs> that, that is a big boy. That's a big boy. <laughs> All right, let's see if another edge guard is set up again for doorstop. Not able to send him back off stage, but still getting a lot of damage. Really riding the momentum of that first stop because uh, he was way down. Okay, switching to Ivy here, despite being a pretty Ooh. low percent, really gonna struggle to get out of this up tilt. He said, call anybody you want. They getting these feet, all right? <laughs> call your mama, call your Ivy sword, I don't care. Everybody can get it. All right, there's that tech chase again, but really consistent on hitting that tech. We have not seen any of the up smashes off the jab block that we typically see from Dorsoff in those situations. Yeah, famously against the spaces, actually. Ooh, this is getting scary. Okay. Yeah. Nair out of shield sending off stage here, but that Nair from Fox gonna work out to keep Comet back on stage. Man. Sending to the other side, okay. Oh, this is so scary. Oh, illusion into the fair, not enough to kill. Still a great option from Comet and great awareness too, because he knew he was drifting just maybe a little bit too far for up air, but he still reacted with some great damage. Dorsop finding that back throw, got himself one stock in, uh, in the lead here, but not a very healthy percent. Comet gonna have to be really careful. I love that Dorsop is just spacing with those falling nares and falling back airs, making it tough, but Comet, again, late dash attack into back air is the tried and true ledge trap that works for him. And now we have ourselves a final game, final stock scenario. This Nair at ledge oh, has no. been... Oh, oh. no! Ah! Oh, my gosh. Great I'm sorry. stuff from Doorstop. That was insane. Oh, my God. It was such a close set, and it just... A single interaction just led to so much. Those linear spacey recoveries are just just such unfortunate things can happen to you. And all it took was just one unfavorable trade, and Dorsop was able to clutch that set out. But Finn fantastic play from Comet. I haven't watched a lot of his sets, but as of today, I'm really starting to become a huge fan because I love the way that he plays. Yeah, for sure. I love that set. That was great gameplay from both players. I think the thing that was really helping Comet in those last few games was using Nair at the ledge to try to get back onto stage. Usually was trading with do whatever Doorstop was trying to throw out. Usually it was like a backer from Squirtle. Mm -hmm. And so um, being able to trade, it's sending Doorstop back to center stage and Comet was able to get on stage a lot easier. Whereas like he was locked down at the ledge, just not letting Doorstop get back on, especially when he's as, um, as Ivy or um, Charizard. Like there was a sequence where Comet just like was relentless at the ledge there, not letting Charizard back on yes. stage. Yes, and Charizard had to like flare blitz all the way from like, <laughs> you know, all the way from the suburbs, like I'm going to the city. <laughs> like tried to like really force his way back to the ledge and Comet instead of over committing or trying to like interfere with that hitbox, like, oh, you can touch the ledge because you're never getting off it. I don't care. Yeah. Like you can grab it all you, you want. You can I'm come back. You. That's yeah. more damage for me. It's like, I'll see you soon. I'm going to be right here. I think the doorstop in that last game did a really good job with Ivysaur just using a lot of the back air to control the space that Comet was using that landing mm. there. Just um, using it out of shield. This was insane. That, all that happened from a Squirtle jab. Like that is rough. That is so unfortunate. Because typically in that situation, I feel like doorstop tries to go for like the using the hitbox of the dare at the ledge, but instead just drop zones and doesn't even let Comet try to even grab the ledge. And that was such a smart play there. Yeah, that, and, and he also really needed to mix up his edge guarding too, because like it started off hot at the beginning. It said his edge guarding was like super on point, and then Comet really started to find the right 